Well, good afternoon, everyone. Mr. Sunshine, Rolls-Royce technician, Eddie, coming back to you live today. And as you can see, we had these uh, in the tank. We had them in the tank last night. As you can see, they came out very nice. We removed all of the uh, grease and grime that we could as it sat there overnight. Still got a little bit more, but uh, that's going to come off with the blaster. But uh, what you're looking at is the valve right here along with the brake accumulator sphere. So what we're going to do um, after we get in cleaning them and now we see what we have to work with, what we're going to do is we're going to release the pressure in these vehicle uh, in these spheres uh, which is a uh, rather simple procedure so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unscrew these these are the uh, cap plates that cover the valve of the spear where you would charge it up to 1000 psi so what we're going to do is i already loosened them up a little bit uh, we put them in a vise uh, wrapped up with a, blind, uh, a rag and uh, we're going to just go ahead and take these covers off of here you can see they just basically unscrew and that takes a uh, three-quarter inch wrench right there and uh, there it is right there that's the cap and this is what holds it on to, uh, this these uh hold on to the bracket that are up inside the car we're going to pull off the uh warning danger plate you can see this right here do not pr uh, high pressure do not puncture apply heat or release cap so we're going to set those aside uh the this will this will get uh cleaned up real nice either with a glass beater or uh, just leave it soaked in some oil now here's the valve right here and what we're going to do with this this is where you would charge it we're actually going to pull the uh, washer off as well uh, we're going to go ahead and use the special tool there's a special tool here and uh, I just had it here this is the tool that we're going to use to depressurize the valve. So I'll actually get this one off too so we can do them both at the same time. So uh, this is stage uh, two. Yesterday we did a little discussion on these uh, spears, the workings of them and how they uh, operate inside. There we go. I got another one here. We're going to go ahead and pull the the uh, washer off and the plate on here now we'll straighten these plates back out a little bit but uh, for all intents and purposes what we're going to do right now as you can see this is the uh, uh, charging port right here so what we're going to do is we're going to stick the charging port on here we're going to back this off just a little bit more this is what you're going to use to screw it in to discharge the uh, it's actually going to come right out of here so we're going to go ahead and screw this on just like this Put it on there. Look at that nice piece of equipment there. We're going to go ahead and clamp it, tighten it down a little bit. And uh, here's the hole that's going to come out. So you don't want to aim that towards your face. We're going to actually turn it down so that it's uh, angling more of a downward situation so it's not going to spray in. And all we're going to do now, gently put the uh, Allen wrench in there. We're going to now tighten it down so that we can release the pressure. And by releasing the pressure here nice and easy, we're going to turn this in. Just like that. And uh, as you can see, you don't hear anything coming out of there uh, because the uh, the valve, it's flat. It's called flat. That means there's no pressure in these units. There's nothing in there that's going to, uh, you would hear a gas uh, expelling from that little port. So obviously there's nothing in there to uh, have to worry about it. So we'll just tighten this down to make sure. Just like that. And as you can see, it is a flat, zero pressure in here. So naturally, uh, the reason they took them off is because they're not holding any air. There's no charge in there. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pull the tool back off of this one. Just like that. We don't want to hit the camera with the big wrench. go see so nothing in there 
for that uh, to release any kind of, so there's no gas at all in there. Uh, they fill it with 1,000 PSI of nitrogen gas. So what we'll do is we'll do the other one just to check this side. Put that on there. We're going to go ahead and tighten it up. Make sure you know where the hole is. The hole is aimed down there. You can see the hole right here. There it is. So we're going to set that down. And we'll see if we have any gas in this sphere. There's two of them on all the vehicles. One operates the brakes. The other one has the hydraulic system for the uh, levelings. And as we screw this in, that one is, again, flat as well. So there is no charger here. They are totally dead. So uh, what we will do in our next video is put these in you have to have these in a huge vice it's got to be a very big heavy duty vice on a big workbench because these are under such uh, torque trying to pull it out you'll rip one right off of your workbench if you don't have a heavy duty one or uh so uh, we're going to be doing that video tomorrow at a bigger uh, uh bigger uh vice and a workbench so we can dismantle them and put them to reassemble. So there you go. There it is right there. These are both flat units. There's nothing in them. So we shall go ahead and uh, we'll see you on our next video. Pick up the phone, 561-693-8636. Or give us a call at 561-701-2263. Mr. Sunshine, Rolls-Royce Technician Eddie, giving you the tutorial on rebuilding brake accumulators and the uh, accumulator valves. Thank you for watching.